Hi everybody, welcome back to the Feynman Technique. Uh, today we're going to look at this integral, the integral from 0 to 1 of sine x, natural log x, over x, dx. Alright, let's get started. Um, what I, the way I first tried to solve this was to uh, reparameterize it by uh, inserting a t in front of that x, making it the integral from 0 to 1 of sine tx times natural log x over x dx, uh, taking a uh, derivative of that function of t with respect to t uh, in order to recover an x during the process of differentiation, which would cancel out that x, giving us uh, integral from 0 to 1 of cosine tx natural log x dx, and then trying to figure uh, to solve it from there. Um, I didn't get very far with that, so this is what I did. Um, I started with a function of t equal to the integral from 0 to 1 of um, x to the t times sine x dx. And those of you that have been watching my channel probably know why I did that. That is so that when I take a derivative of that function with respect to t using the Leibniz rule for differentiation under the integral sign, we get this. We get the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the t sine x natural log x dx. And from there, we can plug in negative 1. Uh, we, can, we can plug in negative 1 for t to recover our original integral. All right, so how is this going to help us? Well, um... Let's recall this. Um, I'm sure you guys all know that sine of x is equal to the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n times x to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1 factorial. So we can literally replace that sine x with this. So let's go ahead and do that. That's going to give us um, f of t is equal to the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the t times the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n x to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1 factorial dx. And... Uh, From there, what we'll do is bring that x to the t inside our sum as a plus t on the, um, make that x to the 2n plus 1 plus t. Um, and then we can switch the uh, summation and integration notation here, giving us the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of the integral from 0 to 1 of this thing integrated with respect to x. And um, with respect to x, this negative 1 to the n over 2n plus 1 factorial, uh, that's a constant. That can come right outside the integral. And then integrating uh, x to the 2n plus 1 plus t from 0 to 1 will give you 1 over 2n plus 2 plus t. So our final representation for f of t expressed as a sum is just going to be the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n over 2n plus 2 plus t times 2n plus 1 factorial. And I forgot to write um, that our uh, f prime evaluated at negative 1 is going to give us back our original integral. All right. <clears throat> well, there's our f of t, but we're going to be plugging values into f prime of t. So um, since we have f of t expressed as a sum, we can easily find uh, 
f prime of t expressed as a sum also just by taking a derivative with respect to t of uh, whatever is inside our sum there. And this is constant with respect to t, this is constant with respect to t. So we're, we're just going to replace this 1 over 2n plus 2 plus t with its derivative with respect to t. And that will give us f prime of t. So that's going to give us negative sum going from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n over 2n plus 2 plus t squared times 2n plus 1 factorial. All right, now all we need to do is plug in negative 1 for our negative 1 into this sum right here, and we have the answer. So that's going to give us i being equal to negative sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n over 2n plus 1 squared times 2n plus 1 factorial. And that is it. And in my opinion, um, in my opinion, that's a good enough answer. I think I've said that many times before on this channel. Um, you can get very close to the true answer for your original integral. Um, you only need to go maybe four or five uh, terms deep into this before you get something very, very close to the, uh, to the true answer for i. So um, I'm not sure if there's a special function uh, representation for this sum. Uh, there might be. Let me know in the comments if you know of one, um, but like I said, I think that that's good enough. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed that.